In this video, we'll go over managing your DDP security settings. So we have a user trying to create a sales proposal DDP from this opportunity, but when he clicks the Run DDP button, an error message appears stating there are no DDPs for you to run this object based on your profile or role. This is because the user's profile currently doesn't have permission to run DDPs from this opportunity. In order to grant this user permission, we need to navigate to the DDP and update the security settings. So we'll go to the DDP detail page for our sales proposal and scroll down to the set security section. Then we'll find the user's profile, which in this case is system administrator, add it over to the right hand side here and save our changes. Now in this example, we're setting the DDP security based off the user's profile, but we also have three other options. We can set the security based off of role, so if we had our user with the role of CEO, we could add the CEO role over there and they would have access to the DDP. We can also set it based off of permission sets, so if we want everyone who is assigned to a particular permission set to have access to the DDP, we can add that entire permission set over there and any user with that permission set would have access to the DDP. And lastly, we also have the option to set it based off of groups. So if you have a public group with maybe 30 people in it, you could add the group over to the right hand side there and all 30 people in that public group would have access to this DDP. Now that we've added the user's profile to the DDP, when he navigates back to the opportunity and clicks the run DDP button, he's no longer stopped with an error message and now has the ability to run the sales proposal DDP. To learn more about managing your DDP security settings, visit our support site for further information.